Critics of Texas Governor Greg Abbott say he's playing politics with his proposal that the state build its own border wall. Yesterday, he said Texas would spend $250 million on a down payment for the project. But the governor's plan announced at the state capitol is still light on specifics. It's not clear if it's legal. Maria Villarreal is in Austin. Maria, the federal government originally estimated its border wall would cost more than $21 billion. So can the state afford this? Well, good morning, Anthony. Right now, the governor just didn't have those details. He doesn't really know how long the project will take. He doesn't know how much it will cost right now. And really, he doesn't know exactly how much of the wall can actually be built here in Texas. What he does know is that in addition to that 250 million taxpayer dollars that they've already set aside, they will also crowdsource this wall. And they're asking people to send in donations here to the state capitol in Austin. As you said, a lot of people feel like this is a political move, and that is very frustrating to the people we have talked to down on the border that are already exhausted by this immigration politics. I'm 76 years old and I've seen migrants all of my life coming through. The Cavazos family has owned this land along the Texas-Mexico border for generations. When we visited Ray Cavazos on Saldua in 2019, they were battling the federal government to keep their land intact. Since then, they've lost six and a half acres. It's very easy to be sitting in your living room and they say, oh, yeah, I built a damn wall, built a damn wall. They're not losing anything. We're losing. On Wednesday, Texas Governor Greg Abbott demanded the federal government return land that was supposed to go towards Trump's now defunded federal wall so Texas can use that land and build a wall of its own. The federal government has a legal responsibility under the federal immigration laws to do it. But because they are not doing it, Texas taxpayers are having to step up so that we as a state can protect our citizens. He sees a real opportunity here to be a national Republican leader on this issue. Patrick Svitek covers state politics for the Texas Tribune. He says Abbott may have his eyes on a presidential run in 2024. Is this about bigger aspirations and uh, bigger political aspirations? I think what today was about was him taking uh, his most drastic action yet to show to Republican primary voters that he is the person who wants to, uh, in some ways, uh, continue the legacy of Donald Trump. In four years, the Trump administration only managed to build 52 miles of new structures on the border, with some sections costing as much as $46 million per mile. How do you respond to people who say that this is more of a political ploy? Anyone who thinks this is politics doesn't have a clue what's going on on the border. It's political theater. That's what it is. I'm not for open borders. The problem is in the United States. Until you can reduce the demand for illegal immigration and illegal drugs, this is going to continue. Not only are the details of this particular project still very unclear, but so is the legal aspect of all of this. The Biden administration defunded the federal wall program just last week. And right now it seems like Governor Abbott's plan is in direct uh, contrast to, to federal immigration laws. We have spoken with legal experts that say in the past the Supreme Court has highly sided with the federal government when it comes to immigration enforcement. Tony. A lot of unknowns remain. Uh, Maria, thank you very much.